it will get reconfigured and relabeled, but the net result, in my opinion, will be five years from now, something like 15 to 20 million more people will have insurance because Obamacare passed, because the replacement will have to do something. And secondly, we are on a different trajectory on cost. We are moving away from fee for service towards value based payment, and that will continue. So, how do you see this but, getting. But the pieces will be different. How do you think? How, how do you th uh, to the extent it's now going to be rebranded? Uh, totally you know, rebranded. Uh, Trump something. We're in a new world. Yeah. What, is it, what do you think it could look like? Oh, I think what's going to happen is we will have uh, repeal done early next year to take effect in 2019. Now, what people miss on that is if that's actually going to happen, you need the replace bill done by the end of the 2017. It sounds like it's far away. It's not. And I don't think they're going to be able to kind of get that all together in time. So 2019 will probably become 2020. You're going to have Obamacare around for a while. But when the replace ultimately does take effect, it will have many similarities. Instead of Obamacare exchanges, there will be probably websites that you can use to pick your insurance. Instead of a mandate, there will be a continuous coverage requirement. Instead of uh, the premium subsidies, there will be tax credits right. based on age. There, there, there are certain broad similarities. You've seen what's happened to healthcare stocks, for the most part. Uh, you have a lot of healthcare uh, clients. What are you telling them right now? Well, basically that, look, there's going to be a lot of noise in the system um, as the replace piece comes into being. And if you're in the payer space, that's going to be, you know, particularly salient. But in lots of the rest of the health sector, what really matters is this continued evolution away from fee-for-service towards um, value-based payment and what's happening there. But in terms, of, in terms of the winners and losers thus far, do you look at that? Do you look at the stock market and say, that makes sense to me? Or yeah, do you think there's the something impact missing? Sense. And by the way, the other piece, of course, is the, the tax piece that we were talking about before, because many of these firms also do have uh, significant overseas profits. Are there clear winners in your view, uh, given the uncertainty? I mean, we, it's, it's pretty clear who the potential losers could be. They're sort of the hospital operators, uh, the ones that are more exposed to Medicare. Um, but are there winners at this point that you can point to? Well, I think one thing that's likely to happen, for example, is Medicare Advantage is currently a third of the market. I think that share will rise significantly. It's long been a key part of the Republican orthodoxy to promote Medicare Advantage. So that's, that's one example. And then the tax piece is another. In terms of how achievable some of these uh, claw back, rollbacks are quickly, uh, you mentioned just there, Last week, Speaker Ryan told Andrew and Joe that he'd had his whole team now ready to go with everything they want to, to deploy. I mean, can't Donald Trump just piggyback off that? Isn't the Republican Here's ticket the as a whole ready to act? Yeah, it, it, getting things through the House is never the difficulty, okay? Almost never. Uh, the problem is the Senate. So the replace bill will likely require 60 votes. People have not focused on this yet. Mm -hmm. That means you have to pick up eight Democratic senators. And I think the interesting question is, what do they demand? What is on their list of priorities? So as one example, I think the market has completely discounted any further pricing pressure on pharma from the federal government. I don't know what dem those eight Democratic or nine Democratic senators will demand, but you can imagine a, an array of things that are currently being totally discounted that they say, look, you want our vote? We, we need this. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.